Who remembers this intro? Hey everyone, I'm Nate. And I'm Abby. Uh, Popeye's hanging out inside, and Emily's taking a nap. Popeye's right there. Where are the RC sailors? Something else about something else, I don't know. <laughs> Today we're gonna look at this RGT micro crawler. Are you guys subscribers? Have you been around that long? Do you remember that intro? Well, we love micro crawlers because these little guys can drive just about anywhere. You really only need like three foot by, by three foot square space to, to drive this. We've driven these inside on really bad weather days. And you know what? Today we just didn't want to get out and about and go do anything. So we decided we want to drive this in the garden today. It's a nice way to enjoy RC on a really, really high end level, but just in a small local space and they travel well. So if you were gonna meet up with your friends, you could take these out and drive together. This is about $100 for the whole setup, ready to run and it comes with an extra battery. We even have lights. Can you see those? The thing that I find very interesting about this setup, and maybe I'm missing something. If I am, you guys let me know in the comments. I, I see that when the throttle is on, the lights are on. Throttle's off, lights are off. I've never had a hobby grade nice vehicle do that before. Usually those are on little toys. And believe it or not, just because this is so tiny, it is super hobby grade. So we're gonna drive around with these super, super soft, squishy tires, nice little crawler in our garden today. It has looked a little bit better, but there are some flowers blooming. So we'll have some fun. I think my fun. fern over there has fern growing out the bottom. Oh, that's cool. <laughs> yes, it does. <laughs> they're, they're not yeah. looking so hot. I so, need to get them more water. For all you garden lovers, or truck lovers, or, or both, we're gonna have a little bit of fun today. Let's try. Yeah, that's funny. It's coming out the bottom. I've never that's seen wild. that. I haven't either. That's so funny. Now, a lot of you guys <laughs> ask us all the time, well, Nate and Abby, how do you get your wife involved? Because let's face it, and involved in the hobby, let's face it, this is generally a male dominant hobby for the most part. But this is a really good way, guys. You can take your crawlers like this, your little micro crawlers, and drive them in and around and through the garden and work together to create a fun and good looking space for your micro crawlers. You know what? You may not have a strong interest in gardening, but maybe your wife does or vice versa. This is a good way to share parts of the hobby together. And then maybe you'll take an interest in gardening if you're the RC person, and the person that is the gardener will take an interest in RCs. So Abby, let's talk about some of these flowers we got going on here, because the truck is running uh, awesome. Oh, well, these are hostas. Yeah, I, I can't, them. I think they were called dream queen hostas. I got my uh, Gerber daisies, and what's crazy is with the daisies, we had such a mild winter last year, that the old ones came back up so this is one and this is last year's like right here you can see right there's two different colors this is last year's this is what i planted this year crazy <laughs> and 90 percent of the flowers in our garden are perennials yeah you... i also learned that you're not supposed to cut hydrangeas back so my hydrangeas these right here they don't have any blooms we have both learned, learned a lot that. about gardening in the last few years taking pride in our front gardens here and uh, do you guys know what perennial means? I've asked a lot of questions in the comments. Hopefully you guys are editing your comment or adding more comments. A perennial, for me, it was confusing. What's an annual and a perennial? I, I have always heard those words growing up, but I never took, a, took the time to learn them. Perennial means the flower will come back by itself every year. The only thing that's not supposed to be perennial are my daisies, the Gerber daisies. Yeah. Those. But they were this year. Yeah. Very cool. All right, here we go, into the sun. The reason we're focusing a little bit more on the garden instead of just the truck in this video is because this is an RGT branded micro crawler. Abby and I know that we like these trucks a lot. They drive really well. They dig in and climb well, and they just look- I can't see my screen. <laughs> really good and stale. Uh, these hostas got planted late, so they're not gonna get much bigger until next year. Let's go back into the shade. Well, these are a so this cool. is a different kind of hosta. I don't remember what they're called. Forget. A little bit of weeds. We got yeah, I haven't weeded in a few days. Uh, this is a rhododendron. 
Yep. All those, and this is also a rhododendron right here. We they, like our patio. It is completed now. Yeah, finish that. There's Nate's beat up truck. Oh yeah, An old work truck. I can't film this thing. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, these daisies look good, Abby. Yeah, these are the most blooms I have right now. So these are kind of cool because they bloom, and then if you're lucky, they're going to be in constant bloom once you get them established. You just, as they die, you just pinch them off at the bottom or cut them off at the bottom, and you kind of have to keep the leaves out of there so new blooms can shoot up really tall. Our perennial daisies are not looking so good right no, now. No, we're like, they looked really good like two weeks ago. Oh. Theirs are yellow. You have to trim them, which is really annoying. I didn't realize when we bought them that you had to trim those. <laughs> to keep new blooms but you can see on that one there's some buds and then those will take a while to but they look so good two weeks ago i'll have to throw a picture up to show you guys and then these that i'm driving by right now are called lilies and just a couple weeks ago they were beautiful too yep we missed the flowers by a little bit yeah they looked good <laughs> isn't this such a cool crawler though and and what a good way to mix two hobbies together and really introduce more people into more hobbies and i think i'm gonna roll it ah i knew it yeah i wanted to get down in the garden <laughs> i don't even know if i'm filming it look this is a crepe myrtle tree that refuses to die it just refuses to die every year comes back up and i fight it everywhere isn't that crazy i just can't get it to go away abby and i like to sit at the front patio and maybe we'll each have a crawler and we'll, we'll drive around and then you know you might not see it when you're just looking but then oh there's a little weed we're seeing it as we're driving we can just kind of pull our weeds as we drive. It really makes weed pulling a lot more fun. <laughs> we'll run the four. Well, you know what, Abby? Let me pass the controls over to you. Okay, Abby's at the controls. Wow, our camera battery's almost dead. I got another one. Oh, good. Okay. For such a little truck, it drives very nicely and very scale. You got a nice speed going there, Abby. Yeah. Uh oh. I oh no. Away. <laughs> That's what happens on our little brick road. I think it needs trimmed up a hair. It is veering off course some. Yeah, it's going right. Oh, don't fall off. There you go. So, what do you guys think about this little thing? Do you like mixing two hobbies together? And, and then the lights, the lights on this, where they're only on when you throttle on. Do you like that or dislike it? I, uh... I dislike it. I don't think I like it either. I think I want the lights just to be on all the time, even when the vehicle is idling. And if we have bad camera shots for you guys, it is super bright out today. Very hard to see the screen, but when we're over here in the shade, we can see it better. I just think it's Let's so cool. We can squeeze through. Just a little front garden. Oh. It's kind of turned into a big jungle to drive this through. That's awesome, Abby. That's a, I think it's called a stilby. Yeah. And it's supposed to be a great plant to put by Japanese maples. And we Don't have our hope. little Japanese maple tree. Oh, nice. Oh, oh, I rolled it too. Much throttle. And then this huge leafy thing back here is called a canna lily, and it's not flowering yet. Yeah, they do late summer. It's not supposed to be on this side of the fence. Yeah, they're planted through. on the back side of the fence with that one. If you guys have followed us a long time, you'll remember the canna lilies in, in the, the backyard. backyard. We used to line the whole backyard on. Now we just have two little garden spots for our can of lilies. Much more manageable. <laughs> yeah, because you have to dig them up every year and store them. This blends in with our black mulch. Yes, it does, but it looks cool driving through the trees, I think. Or not trees, but <laughs> flowers. Ooh, big wasp there. Oh my goodness. Yeah, wow. Well, we decided to show you guys the cannies. See there? poking up right there and much bigger on this side. Those are our canna lilies. Well, this can't handle much grass. No, yeah. it it's doing okay. It's doing okay, but it does better not in the grass. 
Well, there you go. We thought it'd be fun just to, as I said throughout the video, show our combination of two hobbies. We've both kind of taken a stronger interest in gardening since we've done our landscaping in the front yard. And, and this is just a really awesome little truck to drive through a garden like that. In the winter, we've been known to drive these inside on our cardboard courses that uh, when we get stuck inside in the cold. So we, we love these little things. If you've never experienced crawling, this is a good first one, but it's also a really nice alternative to, let's say you have 10th scale crawlers and you've never driven a smaller one, it's a whole new world. You can't drive a 10th scale crawler through a garden like we just drove this through our garden. The only downside to this one that I don't love is the way the lights are set up to the throttle. I prefer them to just be on. Otherwise, it drove just as good as the other little RGT crawlers that we've had on the channel before. If you're interested, we'll have a link in the description box below. It's been off and on raining all day today, so this little break and this beautiful sun, I'm so grateful for, and for that, I thank God. I also wanna thank our Patreon supporters because without you guys, we just could not do what we do. You really mean the world to us. Thank you very much. Well, we've done other little RGT crawlers in our garden before. I think we can easily find one of those videos and have it pop up right about now. Thanks for watching. We'll see you there. Bye.